Hello everybody, it is Cavalier Guy time. We're going to talk about all the different nodes. We're going to be talking about champions, counters, those kind of things. Beth, champions for the past, those kind of stuff. The spreadsheet for this is done. It's in the link in the description. It has different tabs. It says about the paths, like the best champions for the paths. Boss breakdowns. We've got miss and evade counters, immunities. So we've got a whole list of stuff, like a pack for you to go and check out if you want to. Let's begin with 1.1. 1.1 is all about scientific exploit and whittle down. Some of your key champions to take on this will be not there's lots more than this but immortal abomination abomination red guardian human torch spider ham spider-man 2099 quicksilver all the science champions that are really cool and do the damage we lack them for the boss uh, air walker so my warning is about power leak and power drain and burn as as soon as you do that it will punish you but as we know the champion builds power quite nicely defender hits your block it will gain power. That's how it's gaining power, by hitting the block. That is due to a uh, kinetic reactor is the, uh, is the little thing there. There's also Typhoon and there's Power Lapse. I will be honest, I didn't really concentrate more on, much on the Typhoon, but I would say that there are some really good options to take against this. Whereas not, you go down the route of Magneto because the champion's hashtag metal. Black Widow, Clairvoyant in a poison phase in order to deal with the power that comes in. Doom still works fine, use that fine. Uh, Wither debuff champions, Petrify champions, Immortal Abomination, Mr. Fantastic, etc. Anything that's got petrified that isn't doing a power leak, power drain, and power burn. Yes, I did mention um, there's champions that do have those, but they still work. That's the thing, they still work. 1.2 is Cosmic Grit, and this, of course, will be all about your cosmic champions. Anything that uh, has a buff is usually great. Anything that generates a buff is fantastic. Venompool, Hyperion, Corvus, Odin, Hercules, King Groot, Venom the Duck, Captain Marvel movie, Super Scroll, Angela. Angela is actually one of my favorites for this particular path. Uh, you name it, it's there. I would say look at the paths as to like what's on it, whether or not it's an evade champion, miss champion, as to like which champions you're putting into the group for you and your boss is Namor yes I'm saying Namor correctly so Namor is uh, your boss and he has buffet as fight or flight recovery knockdown crit and outrageous we'll be honest warning wise my warnings are about buffet so if you create a buff you regen the defender of course that's how buffet works fight or flight keep your distance when unstoppable goes on there are many ways you can look to approach this okay way number one is the way that i like which is having spider-man 2099 you can go spot with the synergy which has like um i think it like it removes the ability for you to get a buff any non-buff creating champions red guardian another example could be good you could also look to like just kind of i out damage with like high debuff damage champions because do bear in mind as soon as you knock down the champion that's when knockdown crit comes in and the champion defender namor will become more resistant to um you know the uh, the criticals there is other options to go down and that's the hill blocking route whether or not you go down the route of warlock but do bear in mind that does have a buff but there are other champions that hill block in some certain ways civil warrior rocket guillotine 2099 um, but you know, watch out for armor because that will trigger buffet and I'm an infinity war or because this is a cosmic path build up your cosmic um, Build up your uh, your your feats with uh, Hercules and just have a lot of fun with this I'm sure people will do that turning our attention now to 2.1. This is all about mutant champions We've got antagonistic and we have got reckless abandon. So what have we got cosmic what not cosmic wise? What have we got in? Uh, mutant wise what is tons? Like anything that draws a a kind of like good uh, parry heavy type method is really fantastic. Anything that builds to strong special attacks with prowess can give that exponential amount of damage. With your Apocalypse, Kitty Pride, Professor X's, Gambit, Magneto, if the champion is a hashtag metal, great option. Any mutant is really fine, but the thing that I'm trying to like point out is that with prowess as part of the basic care of a mutant champion, boom, big damage. The boss of 2.1 is Immortal Abomination, and again, this is down to a personal preference. I feel that it's all about poison immune champions for this, which is why I recommend a few of them. I mean, for me personally, I just use Guillotine 2099. Warlock can work. Any tech champions that are poison immunity, and especially 
especially those that have power control. I was feeling that as I was facing off against the champion, he was building power a lot more quicker. But again, it's down to like a, a personal preference of how you play that fight. You may even opt for going down the route of science champions, which will have superiority and will do burst damage based on weak link. So science champions that are poison immune may be really good uh, in this particular uh, segment. But again, it's down to personal preference of what champions got available, how you want to do this. I did try with Medusa and I felt that I just wasn't getting the... Uh, I wasn't countering the amount of power that was that was being generated by the champion and it just wasn't it's just not me i like to be suppressing that power and being very aggressive so champions that are able to deal that um, extent of power control may be better options for this those are the ones i really recommend 2.2 is danger danger have voltage if you get the reference you get the reference if you don't then hey that's 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 your problem in any case high voltage shocking revelation Right, in a nutshell, shock the enemy. It's not a main thing because you do have to power drain, power burn, and power steal. Lots of champion options for this. Whether or not some of the new champions like Shuri, which does shock, Warlock shocks, uh, an SP1, um, Iron Man Infinity War, Psycho Man, uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, um, Tech Doom, Penny Parker, Nimrod, Doc Ock, Unawakened, Vision... You name it, there's, there's tons out there that kind of like deal with this. The boss to go up against is Jabari Panther. I would say to watch out for this champion because it is not exactly brilliant if you get rooted, but there are things to, uh, to help you out uh, with that one in that if you've got a champion that shrugs off Disorient or Disorient Immunity, then it can be helpful to then you not worry about the root. And some things, some, for me personally, I don't like, I like worrying less about the root. But there are other things like bullet time and it will be a case you won't be able to stun the champion in the normal way you do even though it's got stun vulnerability. As long as you keep up those evades and play the long game when it comes to bullet game in that build up your evade charges and then it's using the dexterity then it stuns the enemy. You can't parry in a normal sense that you normally do. Then you can do a longer stun and then do the damage whilst the champion is uh, stunned. So again that's up to you how you want to build that. I'm personally not a fan of bullet time so I kind of just use my apocalypse and just go ham with kind of like that. But it depends how you want to do this. Do you want to have evade counter champions? If you do want to have evade counter champions, it does open up champions like Falcon, Nick Fury, anything that's got evade uh, to it. And, and also in the spreadsheet, there is a tab that sends you to somewhere where we've got like miss and we've got evade counters uh, for you to go and consider. So there, there kind of further presents options uh, for you as well. 3.1 now, and I must say the boss is a bit... Yuck, but the, the paths are fantastic. Okay, so paths-wise, this is uh, all about mystic consumption. And as a, a lot of us know, any kind of mystic will do. As long as that particular mystic is able to deal with stagger, nullifying effects. This which like puts things like OG Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch Sigil, we've got Mangog, we've got Doctor Doom, Thor Jane Foster, Sorcerer Supreme, Symbiote Supreme. The list goes on. There's tons. Blackwood of Clairvoyant. Uh, fantastic favorite and um, yeah just tons of options juggernaut with heavy attack you know there's loads of options out there lots of fun things jury on the other hand is a little bit of a complex champion a little bit frustrating because it's got the untouchable which does mean it very difficult at times to kind of go up against the champion it's like this kind of like miss dynamic to it so your options for champions may vary whether or not you're looking to the likes of falcon whether or not you're looking to the likes of professor x nick fury Hercules off the SP1, whether or not as well you're going down the route of uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider with Vigilance, you might want to counter some of that mist that may come your way, especially when it comes to arrogance. Because it depends what you're doing. Sometimes you're like, you're concentrating on the champion, enemy champion because you're like, right, well, I don't want Shuri to go into Untouchable because that will be difficult to then kind of go up against. But then at the same time, you might falter at the same time. You're like, oh man, there's, there's, there's so many things going on here to kind of think about. So you have to kind of pick something. If you've got that mindset to kind of focus on these different things going off at the same time, then hey, that's great. But if you don't, then you're going to have to think about dealing with stuff. There is a really good counter in shape and form of Super Scroll. So Super Scroll has a Vigilance debuff, uh, Vigilance buff, sorry, Vigilance buff at certain armor numbers. And also is shock immune, so that also deals with that shock element if you uh, if you're dealing with it. It depends how you want to play this. You do have to watch out because alternating current and uh, current and critical shock tether. Uh, these are going to be two things that are going to start shocking you. 
So you've got to think about counters of that. But again, it's down to you, like how you foresee going against this. I, I think I foresee Hercules being a great option because this class advantage. And as well, if you've got the, if you do a feat with um, uh, Captain America Infinity War, you get an armor break, which could be very beneficial for you as well. I did a lot more damage with Nick Fury. And if it's a case like uh, to deal with that miss, that kind of felt like the best way to deal with it. And especially with the bleed options going into phase two meant that even with my five star, I was able to do a good amount of damage with it. Uh, I'm going to experiment with a few other options and update the spreadsheet. But uh, yeah, it's just those shock passives to watch out for, the arrogance um, and that falter to watch out for, that miss uh, dynamic to it. So you've got to really watch out about those things. Our final one is 3.2. This is Skillful Distraction. Skillful Distraction uh, doesn't necessarily mean you have to go down the route of uh, skill-based champions, but it's just handy because that plays into the node. Especially because you've got Blackwood of Deadly Origin, the Shocks, Falcon, you know, you can go Recon and deal with the Evades, so you don't have to worry about the Shock side of things. Uh, but as well, you know, we've got other champions that incinerate, so you've got uh, Crossbones, Gwenpool. Gwenpool's actually a good option. Uh, Mole Man's good as well with the SP1 and True Accuracy. There's also some other options uh, down the bottom. Um, I think Chong Chi's Wushu Strikes as well, because it's a slow debuff. Uh, and also anything that's got a, a slow debuff can, can deal with it. So there's plenty of options there to, to deal with the situation of champions evading a mixed master. And the final boss is Atuma. Atuma is actually a little bit more straightforward. If you've even got like a three star white Magneto, that pre-fight is insane because it opens up other champions to be used. There's some few things to know. Um, Avarice, if I'm saying that right, power gain, I would say power control champions with a white magneto would be fantastic uh, for this. Immovable object, important because the champion has unblockable special attacks, so you know, you want to be, um, uh, not, did I say unstoppable? I mean unblockable. Unblockable special attacks, so you want to be able to block them. You can do with immovable object, every five hits you get a steadfast buff, which allows you to block unblockable hits. The floor is lava, um, so you can, like, transfer all the debuffs that the Atuma would get if you, do, you had no white magneto the enemy champion would build up uh, debuffs on them uh, concussion ones and then you'd be able to like knock them down and send them with huge amounts of incinerates it's up to you if you want to do that as I said white magneto makes this more easier to deal with as a fight uh, chum the water so you do get some debuffs on you but it's good if you've got yourself disorient and then you shrug it off with apocalypse I, for this particular video, recorded a White Magneto uh, dealing with, uh, with with APOC, sorry, APOC being the main champion, who I prefer using because it gets very disorient, but you can use um, Doctor Doom and any kind of power control champion. As I said, power control, disorient uh, immunity, debuff shrugs, like, um, th those are good options, but again, it's down to you, personal preference. I may even use... Um, but also, you've got to have a hashtag here and a hashtag meta. Metal is a point um, I should really get to with that one. Um, yeah, so if you've got those, you will benefit from the White Magneto pre-fight. Uh, but if you don't have them, then try Power Control Champions to deal with Alvarez. And uh, Namor could be a good option as well to kind of reflect damage back if a tumor gains those concussion debuffs, which um, I went up against, when was it, on... The other day, I think yesterday, I did a video for the very first time facing up against Champion and didn't do too well. Now that I know the tricks of the trade, which you saw in the second video, uh, or third video I posted yesterday, then exactly, that is the point. White Magneto is an absolute cheese uh, for this. Opens up so many champions to be used, so uh, fantastic. And that's been the Cavalier Guide for November. As I said, check out the link in the description to see the spreadsheet for yourself if you're interested. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in another video later on today. I'm sure there's going to be one more video uh, before a little live stream, and then more side quests and monthly stuff to go over, and looking forward to it. Cheers, everybody. Have a good one. Bye-bye.